Hello everyone and welcome to this week's lecture on environmental despair and systems actualization. Um, my name is Sorel and I'm in the Masters of Interdisciplinary Studies program at Prescott um, with a focus on sustainable business for community well-being. Um, I'll be guiding you through this presentation and I hope you enjoy it. So our objectives today are to discuss Joanna Macy's environmental despair, and I'm also going to introduce systems actualization to you all, and then we will engage with some despair work for our closing activity. So as we learned in this week's reading, environmental despair is what leads us as individuals to find complacency in our environmental work. Um, environmental despair is dangerous because it leads us as a collective of indi individuals to become caught in a place where we practice disbelief, denial, and double lives. Um, these practices allow us to disengage and repress the pain of our world and therefore repress the energy we have to contribute solutions. Um, disbelief, denial, and our double lives also enable us to act as individuals rather than pieces of a greater ecosystem. Um, overcoming these three psychological strategies is imperative and leads me to this quote from the reading, um, which is, no outside authority is silencing us. No external force is keeping us from responding with all our might and courage to the present danger to life on earth. It is something inside us that stifles our response. Um, so I'd next like to introduce the concept of systems actualization into this week's concepts. Um, systems actualization is the process of awakening the regenerative capability embodied in all living systems to create increasing levels of vitality, viability, and capacity to evolve within the systems they are part of. It is part of the regenerative design framework. Um, there are three levels to systems actualization, um, and that is self-actualization self-actualizing, developmental facilitating, and living systems understanding. Um, the first uh, level, which is self-actualizing, is perhaps the most relevant to our work in this course. Um, self-actualizing self is at the root of systems actualizing, and it is the ongoing ability to develop capacity and capability within yourself, and it is essential in the task of drawing out the potential in others. So um, it is at the root of systems actualizing, and um, it requires taking full responsibility for oneself and one's role. Um, it requires recognizing the needs and motivations of others within the system and protecting the space needed to realize potential. Um, if these are achieved, then we can develop a strong sense of personal agency and a deep understanding and care for the system we are part of and working in. Um, we also open space for evolving, growing, and realizing our own potential. So to relate back to our reading this week, um, self-actualization is a stage in which we are released from the fears that hold us captive, um, such as pain, fear of pain, fear of causing distress, fear of guilt, or fear of powerlessness. Um, if we are able to engage with the pain and suffering in the world and do what Joanna Macy calls despair work, then we are able to um, develop an understanding of our system and engage with the hard work of manifesting and contributing to the change in the system. Um, the two other stages of six systems actualization require us to participate in developmental facilitating and living systems understanding. Um, developmental facilitating's purpose is to design and facilitate transformative processes that connect to the unique essence of a living system in a way that inspires ongoing learning, caring, and conscious action toward system actualization. Um, 
living systems understandings purpose is to understand the principle of how life works in a way that informs thinking and action so that humans realize their potential to be contributing value adding members of local global and living systems now i want to put all of this information in the context of this course um, from Joanna Macy, we learned that a human problem is becoming caught in disbelief, denial, and double lives, which trap us humans in a place where we are unable to bring ourselves to engage with the issues around us in a meaningful way. However, as we are, all know, we are part of a greater living system. Um, we've been conditioned to believe that we are individuals and that our actions do not play a role in the greater system's functionality and success. Um, this is a false belief, and in order for our systems to reach their full potential or systems actualization, we must first start with self-actualization. Um, self-actualization is the deep work we'll do on our own that allows us to engage with the pain of the world. Um, a tool that Macy offers is despair work. Um, finding self-actualization enables us to contribute to the developmental work, which helps others evolve. And when others are actualizing, we are able to see how life actually works and engage with a living systems understanding, um, which will lead us to the notion of if we see life in patterns and systems, we can co-create new patterns and enhance life. So um, before we move into the closing activity, um, I wanted to go ahead and share the resources I used to build this presentation I'm listed here. And now we've made it to our closing activity. Um, so today we are going to engage with despair work as Joanna Macy did in one of her week long seminars at Notre Dame University. Um, and first, I just want to frame this with an overarching guideline, which is um, please only share what you are comfortable sharing with your peers. Um, I, I'm not in your classroom, so I don't know exactly what uh, the vibe is, but yeah, just please only share what you're comfortable sharing. Um, so we are going to engage with despair work. Um, the first step is to pull out a piece of paper and begin to reflect on an incident that occurred in our world or our system that touched or impacted you in a painful way. Um, and this should take about three minutes. And then we're going to move into reflection. Um, and I want you to consider why this incident impacted you. Um, what made it painful? What was scary? Um, and then finally, we are going to connect. Um, so we are going to find a partner and practice active listening as you each describe the incident and why this impacted you. Um, as Joanna Macy sort of described in the article, um, engaging with unblocking pain and finding interconnectedness is going to be the key here. So um, try to acknowledge the pain in the world together and and think about these things um, and build connections together. Um, so for an example, I'll go ahead and share first. Um, I was impacted and scared by the wildfires in Colorado two summers ago. Um, Colorado is where we live and we had a um, record-breaking wildfire season. And um, it impacted me because I was always worried that I would need to evacuate, um, pack up my things really quickly and find an escape route out of town um, and also obviously risk losing all of my material possessions and, um, you know, and, and also having like my friends and family be in danger. Um, so it was terrifying and it made me really fearful of what is to come, especially knowing that climate change is only going to get worse. 
Um, so I, I want you all to take the next couple of minutes and that's the next 10 minutes to um, engage with despair work and give it your best shot and um, find interconnectedness and try to unblock some of the pain um, that exists in the world around us so that we can hopefully um, get a little bit closer to self-actualization. Um, hope you all enjoyed the presentation and um, I hope to hear how it went. All right, have a great class, bye.